All right, so first let's clear this shit up. This let's give you a first person perspective first. This is the MSI Optics G241 Esports Gaming Monitor. A mouthful, but that does not matter. 24 inches, 144 hertz, 1 millisecond response time claimed. Anyways, you won't realize it. And the best part, IPS. So there won't be any visual loss when you are kind of viewing it from this angle, right? So that's the best part, right? Perspective. What all do you see? You see this HDMI cable. Nice. You see this adapter. Not a big deal. Uh, installation guide I guess there are a couple of there are a few screws a few screws as you can see yeah let's keep this over here this is the stand right strong and sturdy seems like a boomerang right actually this is the stand and that was the base all right I am at my top most productivity right now. There is a camera in my hand and this is extending like half a meter away from my shoulders. So it's kind of hurting, but yeah, we have to do stuff for YouTube. First thing that we'll do is remove this shit as always. Yeah. Now the keyboard. HP Gaming Keyboard K500F cost me 1000 rupees. You can get this on Amazon for like 8 or 900 if you are lucky. Yeah, that's it. Not more than that. Let's unbox this shit. Not anything very special about it. Yeah. Let's immediately show you the contents. Product warranty card. Thing which is needed the most. Product note. Uh, blah 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 blah. Date of purchase and this and that. Fuck that shit. I don't want. That's some really cool stuff you might be thinking this is a simple keyboard but yeah wait it's like it's light jalne do fir baat karenge right yeah cool that's it the hp k 500f gaming keyboard rgb i don't think there is kind of a pulsating or a pattern based rgb system in this this is just like static, just the way it appears over here. Yeah, anyways, it's cool. And rainbow is cool, right? Now the mouse. Warranty card, and service centers, and this and that, as if I'm going to replace my mouse. If it goes bad, I'm just going to throw it away. No. Very sturdy system, right? So if you think this is cool, it's like right now. Nothing special. As I told in the very beginning, I'm not going to spend a ridiculous amount of money on the peripheral devices. And you should not do that too. My first HP mouse, I remember, is still working fine. I used an index mouse actually because I just wanted to buy a wireless mouse. And that was the first thing I found. I went into a store, I found this index mouse. So I was like, yeah, all right, let's buy this shit. And that shit is still running. I mean, it's been three or four years. Nothing has happened. And I have played two games, two complete games. Devil May Cry 3 and Doom Raider 2013 on that. A bit of CSGO, a bit of PUBG. Yeah, that's it. 
lot of KTR V5, a lot of analysis and simulations, this and that, but nothing has happened to that too. So yeah, these things don't matter to be very honest, unless you are in a professional gamer or something like that. There is one thing that remains, Red Gear MP3.5 mouse pad says that it is small, but it is not, believe me, it is not small. It's like huge. Seriously huge, 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 like fucking huge. Can you see that shit? Yeah. Yeah, this is a mouse pad. Might be thinking this is too big. Wait till you see it with the mouse, right? Something about the mouse pad, right? So basically Red Gear MP35 comes with two Two variants right there is the speed pro series and there is the control pro series so the control pro series is kind of coarse and the speed pro series is kind of very smooth or fine I would rather say so this is meant for gamers and this is meant for like video editing or maybe animations or maybe uh, you know simulations and analysis solidworks ktr stuff like that this is needed for gaming like the mouse moves like super fast if you are using this one but 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 then i thought i can always adjust my dpi to you know use this shit i can reduce my dpi and then maybe after that i'll have a lot of control over my mouse so let's go with this speed pro so i did this and bought this yeah so you can choose actually which one do you want to be honest but what I think is, yeah, you should go for the Speed Pro and later on change the DPI of your mouse to see which one suits you. Fine. Remove this. Yes. Strange. This is for the. This is for the back. This is for the angle adjustment. Like, yeah, that's it. I guess that is the limit. And yeah, I guess it's sufficient. I guess this is sufficient. This is like the front limit. And this is the back limit. So you won't actually be needing anything more than that. So don't need to worry. Keep this thing straight for now. This thing will just go over here. Not something very difficult, right? But still, I'll show you. Assemble. Yeah, packed. No rocket science at all. Need to remove the power cable maybe. Yeah. HDMI cable. And the normal boring adapter, right? Who asked for that? Wow. Let's see what happened. Let's pause this for a moment. 
All right. Let's get everything plugged in. Forgot one tiny thing. Cool. Power cable, right? All right, so that is connected. Descent is something which I might not need right now. So I'll put it over here. And you know what? I found this. I had lost it. Where should I keep this? OCD, right? Perfect. Nah, nah. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Let's plug this shit over here. And screw it. Alright. So yeah, this is okay I guess. Dusted. Now let's see the front part, which is the problematic part actually. HDMI cable, one end over here, and the other end obviously over here at the HDMI port. Where the fuck is that? All right, so it's over here, right? Just below the Wi-Fi. Again, it's no rocket science to insert that. Duh, that's it. Done. Similarly, the power cable. Now comes the keyboard. And then the mouse. Alright. So let's do that. Cool. Ready. Now let's plug the usual stuff. Earphone, this is for the SDMI power. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. Typical engineer. Right? Plug the power cable. In the desired place plugged it in plug the plug the plug the plug the HDMI so HDMI 1 or HDMI 2 does not fucking matter Cool. Let's bring this back into position. I just figured out this should be routed 
all the way back yeah like that and from this side So, done and dusted, moment of truth, again, let's switch this shit on, and let's switch this shit on. Now, let's switch the monitor on. Where did I go wrong, right? So yeah, I figured it out. I'll tell you exactly what happened. See? Yeah. I've plugged it over here. This thing actually needs to be removed. And go to the graphics card. Only one for HDMI, right? Okay, so plug it in. Let's see. Alright, so I figured out I'll need to restart this shit. Cool. Nice. So let's boot now. <laughs> 